Various groups in Bloomington salute veterans across the nation. Today, Sarah Whitmire reports. Before the sun came up, the three groups met at IU's track and field stadium. In addition to competing in events like the long jump, shot put, and 100-meter sprints, participants also enjoyed a rare opportunity to meet their service counterparts. So the Patriot Games is actually kind of interesting because it shows the, the purple of the future. It's when Army and Air Force work together and join forces. And one day we will have to do that in the future. All the morning's events were in honor of the nation's veterans, whether it be those who have served, are currently serving, or who plan to serve in the future. You know, without any of the sacrifices made by veterans in the past, um, obviously we wouldn't enjoy any of the freedoms that we have today. Uh, I mean, one can only imagine if we didn't have people had stepped up and sacrificed uh, what you know, our everyday lives right now would be like. According to ROTC officials, even with two wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, they're actually seeing an increase in people interested in pursuing a career in the military. In fact, the commander of IU's Army ROTC program says numbers have never been higher. So the, the quality of these young men and women uh, and, and those that are in our program doesn't represent a desperation of, of uh, of a program trying to get whoever they could find willing to join. It's just the opposite. For WTIU News, I'm Sarah Whitmire.